Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 21st, 2018. So it's Friday, and I know everyone is kind of looking at this market thinking, oh my gosh, how much further down can we go? This is an irrational sell-off. We should start seeing a relief um, a bounce here eventually. But I got to tell you, uh, amid all of the political uncertainty out here, anything Thing is truly possible in this market. Um, clearly, indicators are showing that we are extremely oversold in the short term. And then we should be expecting some kind of a bounce um, at some point in time. But as long as we continue to um, run this political spin out, this uncertainty from the federal government and a possible government shutdown, um, Friday night this weekend, um, we're, we're likely going to remain under pressure. So this morning we're looking at some ugly, ugly, um, uh, action in these charts. If we take a look, you know, we were, I, I've just been uh, pointing this out, how important it was we hold these levels of support. Obviously, that didn't occur. And we continued to sell off uh, strongly yesterday. So honestly, if you look at the chart here, the next potential for support in the chart is all the way down here. So we still have a substantial move down that could be made here. Um, even today and this morning, we're gapping down 100 points. Um, at least right now, we're showing a gap down of 100, of 100 points. And that could change, obviously, as we head into uh, the day. And so don't be at all surprised if we see some selling that continues to push us down into these levels. It may be irrational, but remember, markets can stay a lot more erratic, can stay irrational a lot longer than you can stay liquid, trying to fight the direction of the market. So let it happen and um, just know that when it's over, there may be some great opportunities. Until then, we're overstretched to the long, short side. It's really difficult to short. Um, if you're not already in a trade, particularly heading into the weekend, and it's very difficult to find anything long, and it would be a, a, a large risk of taking that long, at least at the moment. So let's take a look at this. Um, if we do happen to bounce, we'll have significant resistance levels that we'll have to deal with in any bounce. So this isn't going to be over uh, very quickly, and unfortunately, worst case scenario did occur. We broke that weekly support, and as you can see I'm going to go to a weekly chart here we broke that that major weekly support and so there is a big open hole under here as we try to seek that next level um, hopefully um, hopefully we can find or get some cooler heads some of this political uncertainty can go away and maybe we can um, see some rally Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, certainly, same situation here, um, failing this major support level and just continuing right on through the next level of support. And now we're, we're facing an area down in here possibly of support because we've dropped through um, all of these levels right here. We've dropped through that and we're showing additional downside here in the market right now. So the next level is down in here around uh, 241.95, so significantly lower still, and we're we're falling in just this, uh, you know, like a falling knife here. Don't try to catch that. Um, it can certainly easy easily continue to fall. Um, we just have to wait for price action to show us something different. Um, right now, let's take a look at the queues. Queues also giving up major support areas, and now that places a new level of potential support. Um, there, There is a little bit right here, a little tiny bit right here that we could try and catch. And if that doesn't catch, then we're down into these levels down in here for our next um, area of support, which obviously would be significant selling. 
In fact, I'm going to place that right in here. Um, significant selling uh, to reach down in there. So as I as I look at the chart here, you can see if we do bounce off of this, we, we will have to deal with this major um, area right here as resistance now. And then, of course, additional levels of resistance as we climb back up. Clearly ugly, ugly, ugly. Let's take a look um, at IWM. IWM has just been absolutely pounded here, um, losing levels of su support um, all along the way, crashing through. I'm going to go to a weekly, crashing through this very major support here um, that carried over you know the better part of a year of support there we just sliced right through that yesterday and now we're headed down to this 128 potential support area so kind of keep that in mind there's oof, we got a, a a dangerous market here to be sure and it's all driven on political uncertainty which makes it very very difficult to trade and very volatile let's take a look at the vix real quick the VIX yesterday in their fall, we were kind of hoping that we held on to this level of um, resistance. That did not occur. And now we are spiking up. So, um, more selling today, things going on. Um, we have to start worrying about these panic areas up here where we could really see fear coming into the market, some rapid selling uh, possibly taking over. The possibility does exist. I don't want to see that happen we just have to recognize that possibility does exist at this point and you know clearly our VIX is continuing to trend um, at this point continuing that trend um, rising fears in the market just making things worse and worse as we go along let's take a look at t21 22 and t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio is definitely i mean we're down here <laughs> scraping the bottom of the ocean here um it, it's showing us that we have the potential for a substantial bounce um and we just need a, an agreement we need an agreement in the in Congress and the White House to not close the government, remove some of the political uncertainty, and give us an opportunity for a rally. Um, so far, so far we haven't been able to get that, and who knows if we will get that by the end of the day, end of the trading day. Could they come in with a last minute budget deal, you know, just before midnight tonight and save things? Yes. But are you willing to risk your capital that they're going to do that? Um, because we could easily see if they um, don't make a deal and the government shuts down over the weekend, we come in federal government's down um, on Monday, we could see some significant selling as a result of that. So who knows? Um, I choose to protect my capital at times like this. I choose to stand aside. There's just no reason for me to risk my hard earned money um, uh, wagering uh, whether or not Congress is going to get it together. Uh, um, it's it's a waste of time besides that there's no price action here to really trade um trying to short right now is is kind of a gamble because we're so overextended to the downside but there certainly is no good reason here to try and take anything long just yet in the price action so we'll have to watch and wait for that um on the earnings calendar today we have some things that'll move us around a little bit this morning possibly we have durable goods orders we have the gdp number both very big numbers that could certainly move us around this morning so we'll want to pay attention to that um this morning as those numbers are released we also have personal income and outlays at 10 o'clock um, also a pretty big number consumer sentiment not so big but can move the market around from time to time um, and we certainly have a very sensitive market right now and then kansas city fed and and, and baker who use rig count um, unlikely to move the market we only have about 14 companies reporting earnings today pretty light on um on that um on that earnings calendar today but um you know you always want to pay attention to that and make sure you're checking um, your holdings against that potential um, earnings um, so that you're not getting caught by a trade most notable today would be kmx 
KMX looks like KMX may have already reported this morning and they um, are selling off as a result of that report so um, pretty ugly stuff now today with so much uncertainty heading into the weekend I don't have any trade ideas for you because I just think it would be irresponsible that there's just too much risk here are there charts out there to be putting on maybe a watch list and waiting for trades yes i believe there are but i would highly recommend you be very very careful if you're looking for some relative safety and things like that you could look to like um some of the gold gold miners they're holding up pretty well nem had this ugly sell-off um yesterday i mean the day before yesterday and, and yesterday rallied back nicely so nem you know you could look at uh, gld you could look at um um, SLV, uh, they're starting to hold up, show bottoms, things like that. Uh, TLT, TLT looking very, very strong here. Finally getting a little bit of a pullback. Let that pullback occur and watch for a potential entry into this trend. So there are things out there that, that could be... Um, could be tradable in the very near future, but there's so much risk right now. Um, I prefer to just protect my capital. That's my decision. You make your own um, on how you want to uh, view this market. Now, if they happen to make some kind of decision today, if intraday, and um, the market responds to that, hey, we can always reevaluate, change our mind, and uh, and be able to jump in. Um, to long or short trades if that decision has been made and the market starts um, really moving um, based on um, that uncertainty kind of going away. If that does occur, certainly um, I will be reevaluating re and watching that price action. But once again, I'm going to wait for proof in price action. I am going to wait for my edge um, in that price action. And until that occurs, I'm comfortably setting aside. Um, and we'll more uh, absolutely willingly go into the weekend and sleep well knowing that my money is safe um, while all this just truly ridiculous uncertainty um, created all in the political arena uh, continues to play out. Um, I just want to, uh, you know, I worked really hard to make that money and so did you. Don't risk it on a gamble. Um, let's wait till we have some better proof of um, what's going to happen after these decisions are made. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor. Click on the thumbs up button click on the subscribe button drop a comment you know any any time you guys click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment it it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people i don't try to make any money from these videos these are truly just to to provide some help and aid to those out there that might be struggling in their trading and, and their market preparation so help me out if you can if you feel it's worthy and i truly appreciate all of you who take the time to leave those comments with that everyone have an awesome awesome weekend i wish you uh, 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 great success and i know the market is very very difficult right now but if we stand aside and wait things will improve i promise you that there will be a time when this all corrects and we're done and and things get better so never give up on your dream uh, never give up on yourself everyone take care have an awesome weekend we'll talk to you all very soon Thank you.